Hey guys, XBL Mind Games here, bringing you a Wi-Fi battle versus a fellow PokeTuber and Nips, a uh, good friend of Shady Penguin. If you don't already know about him, please check out his channel, subscribe to his channel, show him some love. Uh, here we are bringing, I'm bringing a different variant of my Fantasy League team against his team. His team's got some serious threats. I was really worried about that Volcarona coming into this match. Uh, my one answer I really had to it, or two answers I guess you could say, would be a Darmanitan and a Zoomerol. Um, so I had to keep them alive for him. And let's see how this match goes. Uh, fortunately mine's post narrated as he did his live, which I was hoping to do. But there was just too much stuff going on in my house at the time to do a live recording. He does lead off with his employee on. Uh, I decided to lead off with the Snorlax, predicting that. Um, I have seen him use Stealth Rocks before as a utility set. Um, I actually have one myself. Uh, but interesting enough, as you see, I do go for the stockpile. And this, he does go for the Roar. Uh, not Didn't catch me really at first. That I got plus two before he moved, before he went. So there goes my two setups, which I'm okay with. Um, it works out kind of fine. I go, I do go into Azumarill. I do get the knockoff off. Predicting, I was, I'm looking back at it. I think he should have went for a skull there to get the burn, because that really would have eliminated Azumarill from this entire fight. I do out the gang. I do go out into Gengar get a little more HP to the Black Sludge. I do misplay right here. Uh, not forgetting that he <coughs> that he was a Steel type and going for the Energy Ball. Doing pretty much no damage. Um, I probably could have killed him just going for two straight Shadow Balls. As you see, he might have lived. Who knows? But as of the way I see it, that was a misplay. I could have picked up the KO on somebody and not lost Gengar. But I do get the revenge kill with Darmanitan to come in. Flare Blitz, just in case if you wanted to save this for Death Fodder. Uh, I know I do take recoil and it wasn't the best play. I could, probably could have went for a U-turn. He would have got Switch Initiative anyway. So to me, there's really no point in doing that. But he brings in the Volcarona, which was I was excited to see. So I'm scarfed. And usually when people bring in Volcaronas, they switch out. Um, so they usually get a free Quiver Dance up, which is exactly what he did, predicting my switch out. Um, or he was predicting that it wouldn't do that much to him. But it does, I think, I believe it brings him down to like 7 HP. Uh, like I said, he did record this match earlier. And I think it was like seven, it was like below 10 HP. Yeah, he barely, barely lived that. So him bringing in the Weezing, I know Weezing has no heavy hitting moves. So I do get the chance to bring in the Snorlax uh, to get some stockpiles off, do a quick rest with the Chesto Berry, get a Belly Drum off, and then use my favorite move for Snorlax, his last resort. Because uh, it really, really takes care of... It doesn't miss, that's the first thing. And it takes care of the really, really defensive Pokemon. So Snorlax can take a less hit. It's already slow enough anyway. So he knows he's going to take hits. So why not use a move that's a one-hit KO? Pretty much guaranteed on every single Pokemon. I think there's very few Pokemon that can withstand it. Um, obviously ghost types and I believe steel types some I, I know for a fact Steelix can handle it it's fully invested I do get the rest off here going right back to full health as you see those sludge waves are doing next to nothing on my reason on my Snorlax I'm sorry rest of Chesto going for the Willow I was okay with that uh, I have no problem with that. So I do get the belly drum off now. I'm not sure how the Willowist takes place. 
with that. I don't know if I'm still at plus six right now. Um, so, not really sure how that goes. I do get the rest off again, just to be safe. I don't want any crits to happen. Anything unnecessary. Uh, he goes for the will o wisp here. I, I guess he maybe thought I was carrying two Chesto Berries. Um, it's a fast paced battle, so he might have just saw Resto Chesto once and probably didn't even think of it. But it works out perfectly for me. So now I get a free turn of sleep. Now this turn I do wake up on since you are only asleep for two turns. Now I am going to wake up. Seeing that it's life orbed, I know it's a guaranteed one hit KO on this Weavile, which pretty much anything is. Weavile does go down. Now he's going to bring back in his Weezing. He is faster. Does land the Willow. So either I'm only at plus two now or I'm at plus four. Um, not sure how all that works after belly drums and stuff like that. Weezing does not take that too well. So that might only be a plus two. I have to run the cow. Damage calculator on that. Uh, luckily for me, he was predicting the rest right here. Uh, I was really wanting to kill that Weezing. So I just decided to go for another last resort. And luckily for me, he switches in from the champ, which is perfect. One hit KO is that thing. As he brings in the Electivire. Now, this is where I do a misplay. I probably could have lived. Probably could have lived the Wild Charge as he goes for. I was predicting Brick Break so he would get the most super, the super effective damage off. That's really, really what I was expecting. Was not expecting a Wild Charge at all. But does he does make the right play? Um, it's stab, so he obviously must not carry Brick Break on his Electivire. But I go right back into Darmanitan, knowing that I am faster, and that I had 30 HP left, and Stealth Rocks would not take me out. So pretty much, I get a Flare Blitz off. It's going to kill something. Uh, he does bring in his Weezing for Death Potter, which is the best, which is the best play he could have did. Now I do go down to the recoil. Now that would have been a speed tie, actually. If that was a fully timid, no. More likely it would have been speed tie. I believe you want to run adamant on Electivire. Uh, and that would have been 147, 147 speed tie, both choice guard. Uh, he goes for the wild charge here. Porygon Z just, just lifts that. Um, if he was expert belt, more than likely would have killed me. Um, but then again, I would have outsped, so it wouldn't even matter. So good game, man. Um, very good game. We both played some stupidly at times, uh, but you gotta live and learn. We're both new. Uh, if you ever want to battle me again, you know where to find me. And if you guys have any questions about the match, comment down below. Make sure you check out his channel. Show him some love. And Sorry I've been away for a while, uh, but the uploads will be coming back more often and more often. And have a good day, guys. Follow me on Twitter if you ever want to battle me, and I'll be here. All right, have a good one.